Hey everybody, welcome to this week's video. I'm obviously here in Seattle, so Chloe and I made it back safely. <laughs> um, although it was somehow hard work. She was obviously not loving the trip, but yeah, there was one point where it, we had to leave, you know, the hotel at like 4.30 in the morning or something. And so after that flight, that early morning flight, like she did not want to wake up and she was just so out of it. And uh, so I was a little nervous there for a minute where she wasn't waking up and I don't know, but I think it was just a function of the fact that it was just too early in the morning for her. <laughs> so she eventually roused and then she was pretty actually perky for the longer flight. So much more perky than she normally is. So anyway, uh, so this week it's uh, a lesson in closing, <laughs> closing up the chateau. Uh, always interesting. And, um, and then a little, a little hint of what I got, what I, what I came back to after this massive Seattle windstorm that we had a few days ago. So luckily I missed the windstorm, but the house didn't survive completely un, um, uninjured. <laughs> okay. Enjoy this week's video. Double layers. Nice. All right, future lights. Yep. Hmm. Future lights. That's a good question. <laughs> hmm. Well. Yeah, that would make sense because I think, I think there's going to be you know sort of cupboards in. along here. Yeah. I'm gonna stop. See. It's gonna be the sitting, mm -hmm. so you can work and chill. Oh, so, yeah. so I think like here. Well, me, it's gonna be there. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you gonna do like this a little bit too. Yeah. See, you can go yep. until here. All right. So it's here. Right. Well, I think maybe just along the beam. Yeah. You know. Here. Yep. Maybe. Maybe we just do along the beams for both both the beams. Okay. Um, and then, and then maybe we do a, a few up in the corner mm -hmm. that point down this way. Okay. And also a line. On yeah. Us. Yeah. Can I think a line a there. Line in the middle here. Yeah. And a few. Oh, so maybe corner. four. Four long each, four, long. four long here, and four along here. Would okay. that make sense? Or would that just be over too many lights? No, no, it's not too many. Four, it's okay because it's, uh, it's long. Yeah. And um, it's just the thing, if you, maybe if you want, because if you're working and you have the light here, yeah, it's okay. But if you're like this, you're gonna make shadow. So maybe, on the both sides, you know, oh, one see. here, one here, like this, you have the light coming from everywhere. both sides, okay. And uh, I'm sure Well, so maybe we do one, two, three, four. Uh, maybe more, I think. Maybe yeah. more? I all think right. we can all easily make three and three. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's gonna be your yeah. studio, you're gonna need light. Yeah, true. And, uh, and also you, you can command, you know, different. Um, area so one area for here, mm -hmm. one for the middle, yeah. and one for here. Yeah, like this. Uh, if you're just working at the middle of the yeah, room using this light. Yeah, I guess it would be nice to have some on this side of this beam as well <coughs> that would point to the wall. Yeah, maybe do two yeah. or three. Mm -hmm. And also corner, nice one. You can decide mm -hmm. which one you not spot, but uh, yeah. Something else. All right. And uh, do you need uh, some uh, plug on the beam? Mm. You know, if you're working and you need to, I don't know, plug stuff. Yeah. Because it's not so mm -hmm. uh, so high, so you can easily use stuff. Mm -hmm. Even for a light you want to put uh, mm -hmm. on the table. Yeah. Yeah. Could do. Okay. May as well. Lots of plugs. Yeah. Put lots of plugs. And this beam, it's. Uh, 
it's easy. Mm -hmm. This one now because it's too high, but uh, mm. adaptable, of course. Right. And uh, we'll see after for putting some also in the middle of the room on the room. If you have um, mm -hmm. something like this, you have a plug here. If you have your okay, big desk or something. Yeah, big desk and like this, you don't have everything coming from the yeah the wall. No wire from the wall. Right. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna write it. All right. Okay, it's come to that day that I have to go back and I'm dreading it. Um, I don't know why I dread it. It's just, I find it so hard to leave here. And um, I guess I also sort of dread the long flight and the, the hours and hours and hours of uh, flying. Um, so it's just, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> and then the recovery and then, <laughs> and then, and then. Anyway, I just thought I'd take you along with me while I close shutters. I'm only gonna close shutters on the main floor um, just because there's actually no way to lock the doors here other than closing the shutters because the shutters all lock from the inside. So, and none of the, none of the door locks really work. So, um, so here we go. You can see it's quite an effort a lot of the time. Oh. Okay, and it's of course pouring rain and windy, which makes it all the harder. This one has a hook that the hook the, the handle is broken on. So the hook is hooked, but gotta get that hook. This was the wrong one to start with. This one works. Hmm. Um, I don't know what to try it with. Anything here? Um, um, um. Ooh. I've got this little teeny weeny uh, paper holder clip thing. Yeehaw. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna concentrate on the doors and I'll leave the windows open so that there's still just light. Locked. Locked and loaded. Okay, I got tools. <laughs> Maybe this will help. Voila. Ooh. It's super windy today and uh, the power keeps going out for moments at a time and it pops back on again. I don't know 
why that is happening. So there's a hook up there that it hooks onto, and that's what pulls it closed. Bugs dropping on me. Okay. Uh, just do these in case. Added added security. Wow. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the dining room. Let's see how well we do with this one. Is a full workout. <laughs> okay, here goes this one. missing all its hardware. The only thing that's locking it is this. But hopefully that's good enough. know me in this hotel. It's so cute. I got a whole little I got a whole little note, personalized note, and Chloe got a whole little bed. Isn't that cute? Oh, oh. She's happy. With the speed the stratosphere. Far away 
out back in Seattle. And there's been a massive windstorm in Seattle. And so this is what I've come back to. <laughs> this is part of what I've come back to. <laughs> Lots of branches down. But there's also some damage, roof damage, that I have to deal with. Where is Thomas? Tama when we need him. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so you see at the very top there. So that's a little piece of zinc that goes over the... What is that called? A transom? Transom of the roof? Um, and it has come off, come unstuck, come on. It's like gotten folded over. So you can see how it's just folded over this way. So, I don't know how that would have happened, but I guess as you can see across that top as well, the, the wind has gotten underneath all of the nails or whatever it is that holds it. You can see even, if you can zoom up close maybe, you can see nails actually sort of sticking out. So yeah, that's kind of problematic. And then, if you can see that ball, the ball of the roof there, behind that is a little window, what was once a vent, but is now the window in my bathroom. And there's a piece of metal. Oh, I guess it's the same thing. It's sticking up. I guess it's just a piece of that sticking up. So, I need a tama. <laughs> the problem is, it's a 12 degree <laughs> slope on this roof. It's really steep. And uh, so, it's uh, quite a job getting up there. Anyhow, this is, I don't know if I've ever really guys shown you the exterior of the firehouse. This is the back, so this was the hayloft. And there would have originally been a davit that came out here to haul um, hay and straw up into, the, up into the hayloft. And then down below here, this is my daughter's room, so this is, was um, where the horses came into the end of the stable. It's where they got washed and fed, and then in here is where the uh, the stalls were. So, you know. anyway, it's a typical <laughs> Seattle Sunday with lots of trees down, but it's really just branches like thankfully we haven't had entire trees fall in the house which i suppose this is in danger of doing potentially i don't know i like to think it's it's well rooted but who knows um so yeah it's a little bit scary super scary see that one's another possibility <laughs> of uh falling i suppose so so far so lucky but yeah this is crazy this is crazy. It looks like my garden is pretty worse for wear. <laughs> I'm guessing the uh, the soaker hose system has not held up very well. Um, God knows there's dogs running in and out of the garden on a constant. So it's a wonder anything's alive in here. So sad. Oh. Okay, well, I have to produce these videos earlier and earlier now <laughs> now that I'm back on the, the west coast so I don't get to stay until until uh, I don't get to wait until 8pm on a Sunday to uh, upload it so I'm going to go make the video now me and Chloe Chloe by the way has survived the, the trip she uh, it was very tiring there was one point where she was so asleep I thought she was almost dead but she was fine. So, yeah. Anyway, she's recovering from jet lag just as I am. We were up at 2 a.m. so she could go to the bathroom. Looks like my <laughs> office has been turned into a game station. <laughs> yep. But uh, my plants are also a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> All right, I'm off to do the video. So far.